Good morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 8.25. Today is Tuesday, January 28th, 2020. My name is James. And my name is Emma. Welcome, Welcome to, to Channel, Channel 5, 5 News. News. Thought for the day. Be a leader everywhere you go. Remember that you are always a Positive Astro. Now over to Reese with the Pledge of Allegiance and the school's pledge. Will you please stand? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best. With a great attitude, I will progress. I promise to obey the rules and know my choices each day in school. I'll respect myself and others too and work hard to constantly improve. I am committed to learn all I can. I am in charge of my life's plan. Now back to the end. Thank you, Reese. Today's announcements. Tuesday, January 28th, PBIS Awards Tornado Drill. Now over to Mr. Butzel for the words of wisdom. Good morning, Positive Astros. So, guess what? Guess what? Today, I get to share my favorite book that takes you on a grand adventure. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you the name of the book. I'm going to read you a little bit about it first because I want to spark your curiosity. Oh, ding, ding, ding. That's our word for the week, right? Curiosity. So I want to spark your curiosity with a little expert, and then I will tell you the title of the book, okay? So the children took hesitant steps towards the beautiful creature. But what do we call you now, Calvin asked. Oh, my dears, came the new voice, a rich voice with warmth of a woodwind, the clarity of a triumph, the mystery of an English horn. You can't go on changing my name each time I metamorphosize. I, bleh, I mess up on that word every time. It's okay. And I've had such pleasure being Miss What's It. I think you better keep to that. She, he, it, smiled at them. And the radiance of the smile was as tangible as a soft breeze, as directly warming as the rays of the sun. Come, Charles Wallace clambered up. Meg and Calvin followed him, Meg sitting between the two boys. A tremor went through the great wings, and then Miss What's It lifted, and they were moving through the air. Meg soon found that there was no need to cling to Charles Wallace or Calvin. The great creature's flight was serenely smooth. The boys were eagerly looking around the landscape. Look, Charles Wallace pointed. The mountains are so tall, you can't see where they end. Meg looked upward, and indeed, the mountains seemed to be reaching into infinity. They left the fertile fields and flew across a great plateau of granite-like rocks shaped into enormous monoliths. These had a definitive rhythmic form, but they were not statues. They were like nothing Meg had ever seen before, and she wondered if they had been made by wind and weather, by the formation of this earth, or if they were a creation of beings like the one in which she rode. They left the great granite plain and flew over a garden even more beautiful than anything in a dream. In it were gathered many of the creatures like the one Miss Whippet had become, some lying among the flowers, some swimming in a broad crystal river that flowed through the garden, some flying in what Meg was sure must have been a kind of dance, moving in and out above the trees. They were making music, music that came not only from their throats, but from their movements of their great wings as well. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know if that sounds like an adventure to you, but it surely does to me. And that adventure, when I was in fifth grade, helped me get through some really hard times 
So like my family was going through a hard time and I got to escape into the adventure of a book. And so what was the book? So my book is A Wrinkle in Time. So now I know a lot of you guys may have seen the movie, but I'm going to tell you the book is way, 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 way better than the movie. You can really get lost in this book and it, go on a great adventure. Okay, so A Wrinkle in Time is a great book to read. And as we celebrate literacy this week, I want you guys to use your curiosity and find some new books that could take you on a great adventure, whether it be A Wrinkle in Time or some other book. These are some great books. And I know, I think tomorrow Miss Lada is going to talk about a book. And then on another day, Miss Talon's going to talk about their great books. And it's going to be so much fun, guys, because you can go on a great adventure every single day in a great book. So celebrate curiosity and get into a good book with literature. So positive astros, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Mr. Bustle. This week's announcements. Wednesday, January 29th, second grade, Gwendolyn. Thursday, January 30th. PPC meeting, Friday, January 31st, K-Kids. Now we're to Miss Morris. Keep going. <coughs> Keep going. Keep going. Lunch for today, grilled cheese sandwich, tomato soup, mixed veggies, choice of fruit, milk. Breakfast for tomorrow. Bagel breakfast sandwich or choice of cereal and bagel half, oatmeal, low-fat milk. Now we're to Reese with the weather report. Today, oh wait, today, partly cloudy. 74 degrees high, 51 degrees low, 0% chance of rain. Wednesday, mostly sunny, 79 degrees high, 56 degrees low, 10% chance of rain. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Reese. Please excuse the interruption. Like the great speech writers, if you can make your way to the stage in about five minutes, I would appreciate it. <coughs> Birthdays for today. Aliyah Willard, Mason Seal, Darian Duran Diaz, now over to Reese with the Daily Science Journal. The science vocabulary word of the day is space. NASA stands for the National Aeronauts and Space Ad Ad Administration. Science question of the day. What is the name of NASA's most famous space telescope? Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Reese. Have a great day, Positive Astros. And thank, thank you, you for watching Channel 5 News. We will see you again tomorrow at 825. Have a terrific Tuesday. Bye.